Welcome to P2. Today we're looking at modeling with series. So in this video, there's going to be nothing new, but what we're going to be doing is applying either the geometric series, a geometric sequence to a lot of these. Um, there'll also be a few arithmetic series within there as well, but a lot of the money ones will tend to be more geometric than arithmetic but uh, you know there will be a mixture of the two so what i think i'll do is i'll start with an example i'll give you a few questions to do um, try and make a few challenging ones in there and do a few at the go through the answers at the end so we'll try and make a shorter video but just uh, one where you can get to practice a few of the modeling style questions so first we get here a population of insects has grown at a rate of 10% per year. If there are 400 insects to start with, how big is the insect population after one, three and five years? So first things first, we've got a rate. This is going to indicate that we've most likely got a geometric series. And since it is increasing by that percentage each year, that is exactly what we've got. So an increase by 10% each year is the same as a 110% increase on that population. Or as a rate, that would be 1.1, 1 .1, 110 divided by 100 there. And we know that A in this case is 400. So if we want to look at the sum after the first year, so for A, we've got UN equals AR N minus 1. And if I start down this route, I need to be careful because as it stands, N equals 1 is when we have A which is our 400. Okay, so the end of the first year would actually be n equals 2. So in this case, sometimes it's better not to think of it as you have with your formulas and think of it logically. You know, we started with 400, the rate is 1.1. .1, so at the end of the first year, we want to multiply it by 1.1 .1 and we get 440. If we'd use this method, we would actually had to use n equals 2, as n equals 1 would have been for the initial year. And that's just something to be aware of there. Now, for my three years, it's just going to be 400 times 1.1 .1 to the power of 3, which is 532.4, which I'll round to the nearest whole. since we're talking about insects and then finally very much the same kind of thing so 400 times 1.1 .1 to the power 5 that gives me 644.2 which again is 644 to the nearest whole value there so sometimes you need to potentially stray away a little bit from the formulae that we've been using and think about it a bit logically and a bit of like how you did this type of problem at IGCSE. Now again this is a geometric series we've got um, A which we also we don't know that's what we'll be finding first of all. Our rate is going to be 0 0.85 as it's a 15% decrease and then we know the third year, it's at uh, 11,054 pounds and 25 pence. Now, if you think of the sequence, we'd have A as our year zero, AR is our year one, AR squared is year two, and AR cubed is year three. So we're not using AR to the N minus one because we start at that zero year. So 
looking at this, we've got 8R cubed is going to be equal to that 11,054.25. Now we know that this is 0 0.85 cubed. So it should be a very straightforward calculation. And we get 18,000. So original price £18,000 and that was obviously part A. Part B, when will it be less than 5000 So we want AR to the power N and we want that to be less than 5000 I remember I'm using N rather than N minus 1. I can use N minus 1, I just have to be a bit more careful with my years. So we know 18,000 is A, and we know that R is 0 0.85. So first we want to divide by that 18,000. And that's going to give me 5 eighteenths. Now I want to take logs of both sides. So we got log 0 0.85 to the power n is less than log 5 over 18. And what I want to do is I want to move this N down here. So we actually get rid of it from there and pop in it there. So N is now going to be log 5 over 18 over log 0 0.85. Remember that if I am dealing with a value that is between 1 and 0, that log of that would be a negative value so it's going to change my inequality so n is greater than 7.88 so we want n is equal to 8 years okay so just need to be aware of the sign change here with your logs and don't forget you can use any base whatever's easiest in your calculator so, with the examples I've picked out here, are just really about stressing that you don't always need to stick to the AR N minus 1 and stick to your formulas exact. You do need to take into consideration a little bit about the question, as when they're in real life, sometimes there are a few slight changes you need to be careful about. Now, I'm going to give you a few to try yourself. Some will be straightforward, some will be a little bit harder. And as always, I'll pop the answers at the end of the video.